Yo, what's up people, it's your boy P, also known as Captain P67. We're back here today with another unique video breakdown for you. So if you're new to my content and my channel, um, I've been streaming last Epoch for over a month, every single day, six to eight hours every single day, and been doing YouTube videos for every single day. I am passionate about the game, I really love the game, and uh, yeah, I do a lot of content for this game. I've been helping the community level up, do runs, farm gear, etc., answering questions, helping a lot, a lot of people out. And uh, like I said, I do these unique video breakdowns every day on YouTube as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, today's unique is the Chains of Uleros. It's a belt, a unique noble sash. It comes with 7 plus mana, 3 plus potion slots, 2 legendary potential. Now if you don't know what legendary potential is, it's basically a unique format with an additional numerical value. So if you get a unique that has, for example, uh, might be one here, with nothing on there. So some come with zero legendary potential, but they can go up to a numerical value of four. So every time you get a legendary potential number, that basically means you can add an additional skill. So this one has two, for example. So when I read out the stats and go through them, I can add in a two additional stats on top, which is insane. So if you get legendary potential 3 or 4 potential on any item and you think the item's not that good or you may be missing something, do you not throw it away because you can always add extra skills and maybe make it perfect for your build or what you're working on. And don't forget there are, there are other classes, so even if it doesn't work perfect for that one, it might work perfect for the other one, you never know. So yeah, just definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, and yeah, let's get over here again, let's cover it. So yeah, it comes with 12% increased damage. Great, off tops raw, flat damage, 12% is amazing. 25% increased ward gained on potion use. So if you take a potion, 25% that you'll get like a shield, which is known as ward, which is great. So offense, bit of defense. You get some necrotic resistance as well, 25%, which is kind of a fat stack, really. Um, cap resistance is a 75%. This is a third of it already, so that's super dope. 24% reduced duration of stuns on you. So if you are getting stunned a lot and you want a belt that kind of has damaged EPS or has resistance, this could potentially be the belt for you. 24% is no joke, that's pretty dope. And then your potions grant ward instead of health. Now, this could be a, a bit of a nuance, like, a, or a bit of a niche build per se, depending on how you build it. Obviously, if, you, if you've got like a, a build, you can just have ward rather than low, low health. So you could have this on there instead, so this could make sense. You've got three potion slots as well. Plus, like I said, legendary potential, so there's a lot you could do with it. Um, but yeah, folks, this is the Chains of Uleros. This is a dope unique for what I can see a belt so um yeah either search it up look for it maybe farm it and see what you can do with it post in the comments below like what you think of it what your thoughts are if you got legendary potential lucky on it or not and uh yeah i'll be looking forward to hearing from you folks all about it but um yeah if you want to support my um twitch channel in any way shape or form um i stream on twitch every single day links will be in the description below um yeah you can tip you can sub you could donate you could uh gift a sub you can follow the channel you can raid the channel bring your friends and viewers in or followers or if, if you're not in a stream or a content creator, you can just come in obviously yourself and tell your friends about it everyone's welcome here and then on top of that if you want to support the youtube channel in any way shape or form you could uh, subscribe to the youtube channel you can like the video you can comment on the video so you can comment in the comments below you know how you work in the build how you're finding this if you need any help as well and yeah just before i wrap it up um, like i said i do carries for the community a lot so every single day if any newer players are available that want any help when i'm streaming just join the stream i've helped it I know, I've lost count, I've helped out so many people in the game already, newer players, but then again, if you're on the opposite spectrum, if you're a veteran, I've had some veterans in with a couple of thousand hours in the game that have joined the streams, we've been chilling and chatting, um, yes, and you guys can join as well, so we can just run missions together, we can just chat, chat, uh, chop it up, whatever, whatever, and like I said, I did get raided by the last Epoch devs as well, as well as they joined the stream the next day, so definitely seeing that we've got a good rapport, and I've been kind of reflecting certain things, and chilling and chatting with them, it's just been phenomenal, so... Yeah, like I said, folks, I'm passionate about the game. I love the game. Obviously, if you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, you've got those two platforms. Links will be in the description below. And, um, yeah, I'll be covering more content tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow for some more for you. Some more YouTube videos, more content in general. And we're back kicking some more ass. My rogue is done, like I said it would be. And I ran Corruption 200 plus on that. So I'll get a YouTube video for that. And I'm on my uh, primary list now, who's level 80. So it took me a day, but I'm level 80 already. I've got everything ready. I'm at uh, the Corruption Manos now, so I can just push through that. I'll get all the gear together. I'll put a god bill for that. I'll run a corruption 200 plus, then I'll release a video for that as well. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a heads up what's going on with the streams and the content. Um, but yeah, we're back tomorrow for some more um, uniques, breakdowns, and other content for last Epoch. 
But apart from that, I appreciate it. So wherever you are, have a good morning, have a good evening, have a good night, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy, and peace out, folks.